Okay, today I'm going to just be completing this um, third solution over here. I'm going to be putting strips of wood across the back where I can uh, fasten the netting to. And I'm also going to be putting hinges over there. And then this little piece at the back here, I'm going to be shortening that and um, making it fit. And then constructing another one of the, these to fit in there. But um, we've been through most of this work. So um, there won't be much to show except how to do that hinge on the back there because I think that's a real cost saver and you don't have to go and buy hinges at the hardware shop or anything else like this. You can, for garden use, you can construct the basic sort of elemental things and we're going to be making a wire hinge there. So anyway, let me get on with that and when I get to the wire hinge, I'll come back to you. Okay, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to be taking this wire here and I'm going to be making a hinge for these garden um, covers to, to swivel on. Now I haven't done this before but um, I think it's quite a simple idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole and I'm going to put this through and then just loop it round to make a loop and then one loop will latch into the other. I'll show you what I mean when I get there. So let's go and drill the holes. They'll be pilot holes um, so that I can put these in. Okay, so let's get to that. Okay, so I'm going to drill a hole through this plank and through the beam behind just so I can get them more or less lined up where I want them. Now I'm going to make sure I'm not drilling on a crack or anything. Like that. And now I've just got to do the other one and then we'll get to it. Okay, what I've done is I've run a 5 mil hole through the center here and I've then taken this piece of wire and I've bent it over here. Now I've bent it over so that when it comes through the hole it will be able to reach over the edge here. So now I'm going to thread this through the hole if it'll go, there we are and then I just take the ends and I buckle them over let's just bend that over like that so that'll form that part of the hinge. And now I can just bend this over like that so that now I've got this part of the hinge. Now the other part will come up through here and then um, we'll be able to turn it. So let me do the far side and let me get up to the top and start preparing things there. But that's basically how the hinge is going to work. It's going to be simple and basic and straightforward. So let me get to that. For this one, I've now taken a piece of wire like this and I'm going to be threading it through this hole. But before I do that, I've got to thread it through here and pick it up so that it goes in like that. And then I can now take it and push it through Oops, that hole at the back, which is like that. And then at the back here, I will just turn these so that they can't come up. Turn it back on itself. So that, yeah, like that. Now, that's fit. Now I can just quickly turn it and it's not going to go anywhere. So that's how I'm going to be doing these. Now, let me crack on and do the rest because I've done the other side just to see how it would work and it worked very, very well. And now um, I just need to finish the rest and then carry on um, building the rest of it. Okay, I've finished all the basic structures. They're all on the hinges. I've just finished doing this one and of course this little piece in the corner. Now all that's left to do on this is um, to put the netting over to protect it. It's all nicely firm and of course there'll be one other thing I have to do and that's work out how to keep this up against that. But it shouldn't be a difficult job. It's a relatively simple task. And then that is perfect. Then I can start putting things in here in the ground and uh, without any fear that cats or birds or anything else is going to get to my, my seedlings and stuff like this. But that's all for today. Tomorrow I'll continue and I'll start putting the netting on. Okay then, ta -da. Yes! Please subscribe!